Pro Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can uh, use type or text in the application, Flame Painter 3. Well, obviously you can't because there is no type tool. Uh, it would be a nice feature to add. And then once you've actually saved that, say, as like a PNG file, you can just go obviously over to the application Flame Painter 3 Pro and just open that file. So open, file open. Okay, now just got a single layer with that type design, and I'm just going to add a backdrop for that. So layer, new layer, creates it above. So I'm just going to just put it below. So I'm just going to drag that below. Right, will actually allow me to drag it below. Well, now what I want to do is actually add. I'm just going to go. I'm not going to go for black. I mean, black works best with flame, right? It does mean you end up losing the image. So. So I'm just going to set it to brown, and I'm just going to go over to the fill tool and just add that fill. Now, what I want to do is add the flame. So that's the brush tool selected, and I'm going to use a mouse in this video. Just now, instead of an art pad, and I'm just going to go around that the design, and I'm just going to follow the general structure of that pestle. That sort of flame there just around the edges and of course you can actually also if you want just a just wisps of flame you can just sort of make it spanned outwards just by moving the uh, mouse a lot quicker just over things so you get a general sort of quick then you can slow it down again and you can see it just slows down and becomes a lot smaller flame and of course you can fill in those things now if you actually want to obviously add flames above you can quickly also just go to layer, new layer, and I'll just drag that now above the type layer, this rose petal design, and you can just again just quickly add some flame above that. And again, you can just add it at the bottom, or maybe more rapidly just move it so it just seems to be engulfing the actual rose petal design.